Long time no see. How things yeah, been going? Good to see you real well. 200 miles south in Rye, New Hampshire, newly promoted Lieutenant Adam Cheney joins Conservation Officer Graham Courtney on patrol for the day. I just got a call from the Rye Animal Control Officer regarding a seal that seems to have swum up uh, what we call Stinky Creek in Northampton and uh, hasn't been able to find its way out with the tide going out. I'm afraid it's going to get ruined there. Yeah, do you run into that a lot? This is the, probably the second one this year. Yeah. And the other one, the tide went out, and we did actually have to physically turn it into a pet carrier. And it took about five of us to uh, <laughs> carry him out of the marsh. So it'd be a lot easier if we could get this one to swim out under its own power. Yeah. We've already contacted Seacoast Science Center and marine mammal rescue people. So if there is an injury or something else, why it's up there, then we'll let them kind of handle it. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah, you? Good. Hey, Jake. He's kicking around right there. He doesn't seem like he's injured or anything, but... I wonder what's got him wanting to be up here. He's way up here. Yeah. Nothing hanging off his lips or anything like that. No, he looks like he's... Having a little snack. Has he just been hanging in this one spot, too? When I first came down, he was under the bridge here on the other side, trying to get up on the rocks, and he couldn't do it. Seems kind of tired and kind of hungry. The seals made its way a significant distance up a tidal creek. It's high tide now. The tide's going to turn pretty soon, and that tidal creek is going to dry right up. No, I think the only thing we can really do is kind of wait yeah, with see. the tide. When the tide turns, if he doesn't start yeah, heading out, way, yeah. I wonder what is in the mud that he's finding yeah, appetizing. Or something Muscle there. or muscle, yeah. Yeah. Check the tide chart in the truck real quick. With low tide, it does get very low down here, with hardly any water, so it's hard for them to stay cool. For Hampton Harbor, it says 10.50, and it is 10.50. 10 so it's going to start turning. The tide is just about dead high. As the tide turns, the water's going to start rushing back out towards the ocean. It's going to reach close to 90 degrees today. Uh, for that seal to be on dry land, and that weather would not be ideal. He probably thinks he's got a great spot and doesn't realize, you know, a couple Once hours. The tide goes out, he's stuck. My hope is that the seal goes with the tide and swims out and goes back to the ocean. If not, I don't think on foot we'd be able to get on both sides of the creek. There's too many other small creeks um, that are too deep to just go in by foot. If it doesn't go out, we may resort to getting a kayak or a small boat and working them down. With the bridge here, everything that's washing downstream is probably a good place for them to sit and eat. Oh, yeah, everything comes right to them. He is a ways in, though. Hike is there. Yeah, he is. He's going into the bridge now, so. The seals moved a short distance in the right direction, a short distance towards the ocean but it keeps kind of wandering back towards the little bridge. I've got a long pole in my truck. I'm just gonna try to make some disturbances in the water in an attempt to make him uncomfortable and want to swim away, just to see if that works, just to get him swimming in the right direction. He thinks that's something to eat. I was going to say, it looks like he's expecting us to feed him. Yeah. <laughs> he's so friendly, which is kind of funny. Hey, go that way. Go that way. When I splashed the pole in the water, I thought it would make the seal uncomfortable. He actually came towards it. <laughs> he started swimming in the direction back upstream, so I put the pole in, give him a little poke, not to do anything but make him a little uncomfortable and turn around. Hey, go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Whoa. You're supposed to go that way. Got some big teeth. He's got a pretty gnarly growl to him. So we're going to leave him alone. We're not, we don't want to harass him. We want to move him in the right direction, but we don't want to stress him out either. I'm Adam. Nice to meet you, Bryn. One of the Hi, Bryn. Graham. From nice to see you. Thanks for coming down. Now we've got Bryn here from the Marine Mammal Rescue Group. He's starting to go the right way. Yeah, we think it's a gray seal. There just might be young mud skippers in there or eggs, fish. They follow food in, it's going to probably follow the food out. 
She's assessed his behavior. She got a good look at it. She said juvenile gray seal, looks healthy, displaying normal behavior, no apparent injuries. Uh, the tide's just starting to turn. And just like we were hoping, as the tide's going out, he seems to be going out too. Well, what do you think? I think he's smart enough that it's gonna find its way out. And it's great that she's here. We're gonna move on. We're gonna let Bryn from the Marine Mammal Society keep an eye on it. As far as right now, it's doing exactly what we hoped it would do, and it's heading back towards the ocean. I don't deal with a lot of seals. I'm usually dealing with sick foxes, raccoons, skunks. You don't get to see gray seals up close very often. You usually just see their heads out in the ocean, so it's fun to come down and see one up close like this. We won't be far. We're just going to go down to Hampton, so if right. things change, give us a shout. We'll yeah, I'll give you a big call. Perfect day to be a seal in the water. Yeah, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Yeah. I'm going to swing by Petey's on the way out, and people will probably be throwing them shrimp cocktail. 